Hi. Today we'll take a look at how you can add the current year in your DV bottom bar, and that's the area right below the footer here in DV. And this area is really good for adding copyright information, but the problem is that it's kind of easy to forget to update the year because that's maybe not the first thing you think about when you wake up after New Year's Eve. So I will show you a trick to do this automatically so you don't have to remember it. And in order to achieve this, we will need to do some tweaks in functions.php and footer.php. And you will find all the code needed on uh, divimundo.com in the blog. And I will guide you through it so you don't have to have any knowledge in PHP code to, to do this. So the first thing we need to know is, do you have a child theme or not? Because if you don't have a child theme, all the changes that we do will be overwritten next time you uh, update Divi. So if you don't have a child theme, click this link to generate a child theme. Uh, it's really good to have anyway. So, so you should have that on all your Divi sites. And uh, when you have a child theme installed, we will go on to the next step here. And that's to add a code snippet to functions.php. And this is to create a short co code, a short code, sorry, that generates the current year. So when I record this video, it's 2018. And the first November upcoming, uh, sorry, first January, uh, it will say 2019 automatically. So I will start by copying this code and I'll go back to my uh, website, my sandbox, and uh, I'll enter the WordPress dashboard. From here, I go to appearance in the menu and editor. And if you don't see the, cho the menu choice here, editor, it could be because you have a security plugin that prevents you from accessing the editor. So just check your security plugin settings if you can see this menu item. So I'll just check here that this is my child theme, and this is the parent theme, and here's the child theme. And I'll go to functions.php, and I browse down here to the end, almost the end, and I paste this code above this question mark, and I update. Okay, so, so what we've done now is added a short code called year that will generate the current year. And you could actually place this short code uh, in a post or on a, on a WordPress page and it will display the current year. Uh, but if you want to have it in your bottom bar, it's a little bit more complicated because Divi doesn't allow short codes by default in the Divi bottom bar. So we have to do uh, one more tweak in the footer.php in order to achieve this. And as you can see, there are no footer.php in the theme files, so we have to add it. And uh, you can do this from your uh, host file editor, your web host, or you can do it with an uh, uh, FTP client. And uh, I prefer to use FTP. And I use FileZilla. So first of all, I need to connect to my site. Perfect and I will go to the right one. And I've done some blurring here just to keep my private stuff private. I hope you understand that. So the next step here is that I go to the folder WP content, and then I go to themes. And there we have my shell theme, and we have the parent theme Divi. So we'll go to Divi and uh, find the file footer.php. And now I'll download it to my hard drive and I'll go back to themes folder and to my shell theme folder and I will upload the footer.php file. So now I have a footer.php file in my shell theme. I could of course edit this file here by just choosing view edit, but I'll exit FileZilla for now and I'll go back to WordPress. 
And if I just refresh this page with the editor, I should see that footer is now added to my theme file. And it is. So now I can edit my child themes footer file. And the next step, step, I will browse a little bit here, is to find this code in the footer.php that we just copied and pasted, and replace this code with this code instead that will display the current year and some copyright information. So I start by marking this first line of code and copying it, Command-C on my Mac or Control-C on your PC. And I'll switch back to my editor, and I'll do a Command-F on my Mac or Control-F on your PC, and I search for this line of code, and it's marked down here. So in my browser, it's row 41. Could be a different row if you have done some settings before. So I'll mark this start with a div tag, and I will go all the way down to the ending div tag here and the container marker. And now I should replace this code with this code. So I copy it, and I go back, and I paste it. And I choose update file. And we can see that the file was updated, uh, edited successfully. So right now, actually, if I reload my page, I should see the copyright 2018 message in the DV bottom bar. So let's see if it worked. So I refresh the page, and now I can see copyright 2018, DV Mundo, all rights reserved. So how do you now edit this text? Because I guess you want to have your own company name or your client's company name, and maybe some uh, some other text down here. Well, that's pretty easy. Let's go back here to the editor where we just pasted the code. So this code, this line of code is key here. What we see here is the text copyright, and this is actually the code for the symbol of uh, copyright, the, the C in a, in a circle. So since this is PHP code, you can't just paste the, the copyright symbol right in here. That, that will not work. So we have to, to make a small code for the copyright symbol. So this code here represents this area in the bottom bar. And that's one you will probably want to, to keep. But if you would like to, to write copyright in some other language, that's fine. You just change this one. OK, the next thing you see here is, is the shortcode with year. So this is the thing we just done, displaying a current year automatically. So I suggest that you leave this one and uh, don't change it. And after the year, we have this text, Divimundo, all rights reserved. So that's, let's see, this text. And this is, of course, free to edit. So we can call this my great company. And uh, maybe some corporate, we love our customers. Hey, Divi. And we update this file. Maybe not my proudest moment as a copywriter, but hey, you get the point, right? So I go back here and I refresh the window. And now I can see the updated text here. So this is basically it. On the 1st of January uh, 2019, this will be updated automatically based on the time settings in WordPress, I should say. So um, be sure that you have your local time set, set there. Uh, if you want to add something else than just the current year, maybe you want to have the current year month, current year month day, or just the current day, like thank God it's Monday. That's also possible. And uh, I've collected a few extra short codes here. So if you just expand this uh, view here, you can see that this is what we've just done. We added this code in the functions the functions.php uh, and that uh, generates the short code year with this result. But you could also have the current month, which is November when I'm recording this video. 
and you could have the format uh, year, month, day, or maybe just month, year, or why not just the day, which is Monday today. Lovely. And uh, I can see that I actually added a space by mistake here. I will fix that. So you should actually type month, year in uh, one word. You should avoid spaces in uh, short codes. So I'm going to fix that right after finishing this video. Uh, and uh, of course, there are several more date formats to choose from. So here's a link where you can find all the PHP codes for creating different date formats. So good luck with your Divi bottom bar. That's all for now, guys. Take care.